seen whole crews run through the same few girls. In the DR, right? <laughs> that probably was the DR. <laughs> yeah. Instead of paying for coaching, you can learn on the ground. You can take that same money and actually go to the country and learn on the ground. And let's be honest, there's a portion of the uh, the movement that are red light districts. <laughs> and some people knock people for that. I don't knock anybody from mm -hmm. doing that because you, I know there's guys who are in America and ain't getting no sex. Let's be honest, there's, they probably got to jump over a lot of hoops to get sex in America, right? The average guy probably does. So imagine somebody a little uh, lower than, than the norm. Come on, man. These guys are able to go somewhere and at least be with a woman. And guess what? They gonna get taken for their money in America too with, ten, with five or six dates and they ain't gonna get a kiss. So if you gonna spend some money, people wanna knock it, but these, the, these red light districts are set up in these countries for the men who live in these countries. You know what I'm saying? There was none of these places it was set up for us. Yeah. They had thermos in Brazil for Brazilian men. They have casas in Colombia for Colombian men. This None of this is so all around the world. These things have been set up for the men in those countries. You know what I'm saying? Even though people from other places come and enjoy it. But, you know, I just... I just want to be honest. A portion of the passport bro movement is guys going to red light districts. And I don't have a problem with that. I go to red light districts, but I also go to places that, you know, it's not about that at all. No, I, I really appreciate your honesty, man, because I actually was talking about it in the last interview I had with Gold Broad now. We were talking about why that type of lifestyle is so, like, I feel like everyone shames it. But I feel like a lot of people also do it behind the scenes and they're not being honest about it. And my thing is, why not just be honest about it? Who gives a damn about criticism? Like, if that's something you want to do and that's your dollar and that's your, you know, thingamajig, who am I to judge what you do with your thingamajig money? You know what I mean? If that's something you want to do, go ahead. Just be honest about it. Stop, like, faking it and this, that, whatever, you know? My, my opinion about that is I feel like if it's legal in the country, what's right. wrong? You know what I mean? You got the money it's legal they're they're over the age you know obviously they're over 18 what's the problem you know what i mean why not do both if you're in a place like brazil colombia where it's legal why not do both now i'm not you know i'm the type of dude i mostly i like i like you know approaching and i like you know regular women because i actually want to establish something i don't just want it to be for a couple hours and they leave and then that's it then you're back to square one but sometimes there's some nights where you're in the mood for something like that really where is it you know what I got an hour or two. I'm bored. It's it's a special occasion. Let me, let me, you know what I mean? So there's nothing wrong with that either. And you shouldn't be ashamed for that. You know what I mean? And but I feel a, like in this space, it's like that. There's a big misconception. And it's a lie that the people who are doing it have to do it. Nobody has to do it. You know what I'm saying? People do it because they want to. You know what I'm saying? You could buy Nikes or you could buy Reeboks. It's your choice. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a it's a lot of most of the guys who travel are doing something to allow themselves to be able to travel. So these are not just some hobos. These are a lot of successful men, and it's by yep. choice. Yep. I know a guy who was a millionaire, and his job was to take him all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And he indulged in different countries all over the world. He had a wife and everything and kids, but. You think he did it because he had to? No, this is a rich man. You know what I'm saying? He did it because he wanted to. You know, and that's the number one reason why guys do it. The number one reason is not because you can't get girls in America. The number one reason is because you want to. You understand? And they need to stop with that BS that somebody got to do it. People do it because they want to do it. Uh, so QB Passport says, kind of disagree. Some guys are forced to. That's absolutely wrong. Manager I'll because be, women I, don't want them here. I meet so many dudes in so many countries that definitely don't have to do it. 
just you could when you ask, hey, what's good? What you doing for a living? Or where you from? You can tell by the way they look. You can tell by the way they dress. You know what I'm saying? It's usually the successful guys who do all the traveling, who have money to travel. You know what I'm saying? It might be a couple of guys who, eat because in America, if you got money, it don't really matter how you look. You know what I'm saying? And there ain't, there's a new generation of travelers who might be traveling on their last dollar, but that, that is totally not true. That is totally not true. I see many guys who indulge because they want to, and they ain't got no, they know what, they can't get it in there. Ooh, everybody can get some, get some. You can't get a lot. You can't get abundance. You can't get every girl you want. You can't get a dime when you want, but it's, that's absolutely not true. They do it yeah. for fun. They do it for sport. Yeah, and and I mean that's the thing about traveling is if you're gonna be traveling consistent. I mean I've met a lot of guys overseas that have money, man. They're set up. You know what I mean? These people, and and they're into that lifestyle. And they tell me openly, yeah, I'm into this lifestyle. I make a lot of money. What's you know, if I give a girl a hundred dollars, why does it matter? I mean, I'm, I'm if I take a girl on the date here in the states, they're spending just as much or maybe more depending on where they take them. So to them, guys, they view as I'm saving money and time. Guys are going to have fun. They're not going because they have to. They're going to have fun. You so know what, I'm saying? With, with, with what QB was saying, though, it, to an extent, I do agree with him because the thing is, um, there I have met on the flip side. I have met men that they don't get anything here in the states, so they go overseas and they do things like this. Which, hey, do you? You know, like I said, I'm not going to judge you, but I, I think um, for the most part, from what I've seen, my, from my experience as a minority. But I do see, man, I think that's what QB is saying, is that some of uh, the minority do things like that. Um, some, QB, to me, some. I think the ones who might need to are like, it's 10% compared to the 90% who do it because they want to. You understand? So QB says, uh, well, talk talk about it um, on my live. What I'm going to say, uh, because the guys don't have the looks and charm, they are forced to pay for women. Uh, and then, I don't believe uh, that. I, and, and I the thing is, so many guys, you could look at them, you could talk to them, you could tell. The average guy is not, that's traveling out here, is not an ugly dude, is not an unfit dude, is not a broke dude, is not a dude who looks like he don't get girls. All right? I've been traveling consistently. Since 2018, I've been to 45 countries. I've met so many dudes, so many brothers, every country. Some of them watch my channel. You know understand what I'm saying? I sat, maybe had a drink. It's not. The the the, the proportion that you would say, yeah, he, and those guys are, are still less successful than, than the guys who, who used to get in it. Even if, even though they went to pay, they still less successful. So, so because in some countries, a girl still got to choose you. It's where they go with you just because you have money, no matter how you look. It's the Dominican Republic. I'm talking about my experience with the, the multitudes of brothers I've run into in these countries. You could look at them. You could talk to them. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They just there to have fun. That's it. Got, um, they just they 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 don't care. They had to have fun. It's now like, you know, cocaine used to be a recreational drug. You know what I'm saying? Marijuana, recreational drug. Traveling around the world, smashing broads is a recreational drug. Uh, even with pros, they they still choose player. Not in all countries. In all countries, it's just about the money. Some countries, it's just about the money. They don't care how you look. And that's definitely for the Dominican Republic. Uh, so, um, all right. King says, um, I would say Colombia doesn't care. DRB choosing. Hell no. I've seen girls leave with dudes look like Frankenstein in a DR. Kidding me? Dudes in wheelchairs in a the DR. They don't care about big boys in a DR. Big boys get shut down in Colombia. I, I, trust me, I know. I got a few friends. And shorties would be like, I tried to hook them up and they'd be like, uh-uh. In the DR, that never happens. Ask any seasoned DR in Columbia dude, please somebody come on here and 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 and, and, and tell tell them 
what? You crazy? DR is all about the money. They don't care how you look. They don't care if you got one leg in the DR. Oh boy, we got we got some more comments over here. I I seen whole crews run through the same few girls. In the DR, right? <laughs> That probably was the DR. <laughs> I seen the same in Colombia, bro. That's what he said. Okay. Well, I have it. I have it. I, I I tried to hook a big boy friend up with a nice shorty, and she was like, oh, hell no. That has never happened in a DR. Look at me, what she's gonna be. Call me Ricky T. Off the leash, off the lick of dough. I can't have the beef. Keep it P. Never need the juice, but you need the juice. Vou passar na casa dele só pra dar uma relaxada. Sem que ele tá namorando. Nem ligo, sou abusado. Ele gosta, 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 gosta da sentada. Ele gosta, 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 gosta da sentada. Que se foda ela, eu que sou só namorado.